What that moment meant to Atlanta, right? Like right then, the world was stopped. We stopped and looked at these grown men, be, be grown men. Mm -hmm. Like, what did that mean? Because we knew how real it was. Yeah, it was and real, real it is. It's still yeah. like you know, like to me, it's just the, the the testament of like, if you live, you can figure this shit out. Mm -hmm. Like that's the whole point. Like, like, like that's the goal. Like, let's 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 Keep live living, long, long enough to get over that dumb shit. Cause oh, on, shit. start the show with that. Please. <laughs> yeah, I'll be for real. Yeah. But. That's <laughs> Easy, <laughs> bro. Was she even off the screen? No, no. <laughs> he said, "Are you gonna no, clear my charges?" Yeah, no, I was fuck right, you. Whatever it is, this around. I didn't <laughs> see most of the oh, shit. I heard it. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Because I was, I was waiting. I was waiting to go on stage. It was a hard curve. Man, that shit was. It was so tension filled. It was like the most fucking. Did you go? Uh, well, first uh, yeah. of all, first of all, I don't think that they knew that that wasn't a recording. Mm, yeah, because she said, oh, they hey, thought it was fly. Yeah. yeah. Oh goddamn! What's happening? <laughs> it was what, Tony stuck. Baker was saying that. Tony Baker, that bit, that, she fucked up. Oh, that bitch had a stroke. But I told her to get off me. When I met, they said government. I told her stop eating meat, quit that dairy shit. Stop eating meat. Dad, shout it a little bit. Man, that shit had me feeling like it. Shit, that was a lot. That was a lot to watch. You yeah. knew what was gonna happen, bro. Nice I went clothing. through every emotion I had. I prayed for the parking lot three times. Boy. That's funny. Bro. I was. But did like, you see the parking lot? I can only I imagine outside only of like imagine. a Michael Jackson hotel. Only Bro, they were sticked up though. They was walking oh. by their cars with the sticks out. Like nothing was happening. I was like new, new, new face posted. New face had oh, How he was, was inside and outside yeah, at the same right, goddamn right, time. <laughs> hey man, it's not new show, face is on. a fly. <laughs> oh shit, more than culture is the brand. <laughs> this is the more than culture show. <laughs> Come no, on, the is. secret genius. Remo Ross still asking questions. Tyler Chronicles. <laughs> Uh, Ronnie Jordan, I'm actually built like a real snowman. Hey, hey, control, the <laughs> 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 control the weight. Control the weight. I can't control the weight. Oh, shit. Mm. Oh, yeah, my man. friends uh, are the meanest. Mm. Great. That's hilarious. We love you. All right, man. So we got a we got a special guest in the house. Super Dungeon special. Family Original. Come on, man. Try to see this high school on. Yes, a &R to the stars. Woo. Fucking culture expert, Grr. culture tastemaker, mm -hmm. influencer of influencers. Come on, man. We have KP Kawan Prather in the culture oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. tonight. Mm -hmm. Man, amazing. Thank you for pulling us up. Bro? What's up, bro? <laughs> Uh, man, all is well. to steal my whistle, bro. He, we were just whistling yeah, at the same time. Niggas be thinking. I mean, it sounds like y'all would do it. <laughs> Everybody has like a spirit of theft. Do you know what happened, though? No. Like, if the niggas steal a lot and something come up missing, mm. then people going to look at the nigga that steal a lot. So people know that every time they make a sound, you copy it, it and go above it. <laughs> like, everybody knows that. Oh, so, so I'm I the just, sound so thief? This, oh, this wasn't on purpose. No. Oh, he do that I shit I be sampling niggas. This is spillage from the group chat. This is like, don't let off no beatbox. He going to try to. Okay. Don't say an ID either. A bitch. <laughs> <laughs> a great one. We got a whole nah, set. Bro, 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 we got spicy, this, We uh, just got <laughs> ugly in front of a oh. fucking exec. Let's get hey, guys. Let's hey, do look, it. But look, KP, how did you? Uh, thank you for coming, first of all. Thank you. Oh, man, appreciate for, you for I've been tapping in with your ass the whole quarantine. Oh, fat. Yeah, man. You've been DJing from the crib. You've been doing interviews. Okay. How is it to be back in Atlanta, bro? It's almost like people in Atlanta believe it's Wakanda and it's vibranium in this bitch. It's it a is a three five yeah. of vibranium in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't saying how much it's going for. It's, it's a bubble. I thought I thought Tip confirmed that yeah. in the in the press conferences. This is Wakanda. Yeah, we <laughs> the NBA bubble. Yeah, so so I mean you know I still got my mask. I keep them keep them in my pockets. Mm -hmm. You feel know, me? But it's yeah. I mean I I miss being in Atlanta. Like I'm hearing songs again that I missed. Mm. That I'm never gonna hear. LA. Where are you coming from? LA. LA. Mm. Yeah, buddy. He lives out there. Who you, who you, who you, who you like feel like is next? Like, Fujiano got the streets going crazy. Man, I, I can't. Bro. Man, let me tell you some real shit. Like, quarantine has me not current because new shit, it ain't applicable to my life. Mm. Come on, man. 
different tax bracket. Real talk. shit. No, he though. grown. No, nah, yeah. yeah. it's just like I'm not that dangerous. Bro. Like mm-hmm. where, niggas where have I, guns for protection. Yeah, my, right. my gun. I'm like, <laughs> I don't bring this out. I'm I don't talk about I this shit. I never well, use this motherfucker. I call it a platform. pistol play. It's not a gun. <laughs> it's bro. a platform. It's not a gun, guys. No, this is an option. Yeah, yeah, but no, I mean, you know what? I don't, I don't want to. I can't do the new conversation because it's too many. Like it's too many new songs. Mm-hmm. So I don't know who sticks. I just know I like some songs. Yeah, right. I feel like Lil Baby's gonna stick. Lil Baby's oh, Lil Baby's a star. Oh, okay, yeah. you talking about he like Fujiano? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. like yeah. know these guys. Yeah, I, know yeah. I know them yeah. from the shit that they do. I don't know these dudes from like the music, like the Poo Shy, the Fujiano. They did mm-hmm. some shit on Instagram, shot mm-hmm. some shit up, and then you hear about them. But oh, I don't know none of their music. Well, because I don't, because yeah, I don't know who do what song. That's how I found out about the baby. Like I know some songs. I'm like, man, that shit. Shot the nigga at Walmart. I like, I like them two niggas that be in jail on live beating on the goddamn bump. E man. E man. Yeah, that's what cool. I'm like, what's that? I have. Nigga, oh, they got a bitch right yeah, they snap. to me right now. If you I don't want to start liking them if they I, committed I, that, murder. That, but it's my point. Like, I'm like, I, I'm like, yeah, I seen it. Yeah, like if they did a murder, like then damn, like what I don't did. know what they did. So. did they some. still telling it. Yeah, but I don't, I want to hear was, songs from them. I won't never. If they did a murder, I won't never hear a song. So like Bill Cosby come back, you ain't gonna hear a special. What are you talking? about? What are you <laughs> talking <laughs> about? <laughs> Bill Cosby got a lot of shit to talk about. Huh? <laughs> Bill Cosby fresh. If Bill, if Bill Cosby come out cussing and funnier than ever, my nigga. Call, I mean, it's gonna be called blurred lines. Hold on, Bill Cosby, Cosby is that. That not. Has shit to do what I was talking about. And he about. is not you gonna make it out. What this nigga just said. Yeah, he should. Okay, cool. blurred lines. <laughs> he's a smart man now. Blurred. All right, all right. Get to the history, man. Yo, yeah, we was on a whole yeah, little tangent. <laughs> you know him and for real, the partner. Yeah, that's the homie. Cool. Yeah. I know for real. What you talking about? <laughs> that's the homie. I know for yeah, real. What you talking about? <laughs> Shut up. I, got I do shoes. know for real from Scott uh, Scottdale. <laughs> <laughs> Scottdale for real. Scottdale for real. No real mantra. Not Chanel for real. Like, <laughs> Scottdale for real. Uh, <laughs> I was like, like, that's the nigga you talking about. Oh my God. <laughs> Scottdale for real. So you went to Tri Cities, bro? Like yep. you from the city, city? Yeah, I'm from Atlanta. Man, that's I'm Grady born. Grady baby. Yeah, Grady baby. Shout out like to lived Grady in babies. every part of every part of Atlanta. Mm. Did like you based on family. Wood? Yes. Nigga. Aunt Val lived it. in Tech Wood. Yep. You made it. Uh, East Lake Meadows. <laughs> East Lake. <laughs> East Lake <laughs> Meadows, <laughs> boy. It's yeah. good. It's good old Atlanta. Yeah, so let me let me I used jab to drive by East Lake every day. Damn. <laughs> Coming from that same angle, but how many people in your high school were like in the industry now that were oh, the, oh, the shit. era that you were in? Because I've heard of Tri Cities and I heard of the millions of people that went there. So all of those, like Candy, okay. Okay. Um, Keenan, mm-hmm. Pooh Bear, Jagged Edge, all four of them? No, nah, oh. Wingo. Oh, okay. Um, yep. uh, let me see who else. Uh, Dre, Big and Dre. Um, the Scott sisters from Escape. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's way more than that. Like I just like, but it was a lot of y'all were just, just a lot of y'all were just up there. Y'all didn't yeah, go. We there, <laughs> well, you didn't go. Like, I wasn't there for the School of the Arts. Like it, it was, <laughs> it was there. Yeah. But I was like, that was the address I could use. Like yeah. I had exhausted a lot of op- <laughs> options. <laughs> 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 <So>. <laughs> you, did tour, you did a tour. You toured all the high schools in Atlanta. Right. Right. Could high you name school. all the high schools you went to in Atlanta, please? Sylvan High, I went to my Mays went High, to Mays, Rob Hayes. Lakeshore, <laughs> West Lake, and then Tri Cities. Hey, boy, you did a tour for real. So you were actually in PA, well, like well, coming out of high school, like like I met Mello, one of the guys in PA, like I want to say eighth, ninth grade. Like his brother came to a trust I mean, um, Sylvan High talent show, and I was DJing it. Oh, that's like, crazy. And he was like, "Man, my brother rap. Y'all should y'all should meet up." So DJ was always your first thing? Yeah, I started at like 11, 12. So you was the high school DJ too? Like yeah, you yeah. Knew, you know, hit KP up, get the party called. Yeah, because like prior to that, I was, I was playing football, but I was like, this shit way cooler. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Atlanta, you, the women's definitely is. built more like a DJ than a football player. <laughs> 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 you stupid as a cornerback. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
that shit. Play, bro. No, we need, man, look. I beat it. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't really play football if you go to five different high schools. It's hard to get You got to be there. Like, what's y'all running? Fuck it. Yeah. You running wishbone, bro. Hey, hey, but can you rag top? You know what I'm saying? But like, can you like, rag, rag top? top? Don't you stop. Straight up. So, like, but how did you become such a young A&R? You, you was, like, in the room doing the job, and, and Pebbles told you, like, yo. Yeah. I mean, I think that's the part about, like, going to all the different schools and, like, just moving around. I was comfortable. So I just, and I, and I know this shit because of being in a bunch of situations. You just got to pay attention, like, a lot closer. So it's like you start noticing who does what. Mm-hmm. And I was able, I started figuring out how to apply that shit. Like, hey man, why don't you do that? And and Pebbles saw me doing this shit in the studio. and was like, you know what you're doing is like a whole job. It's like a, it's a thing. Coach. We, we were talking about that before the show. There's a lot of people that, you know, get into that type of situation. Like I'm telling him, I got a homeboy. Uh, was helping out our other homeboy that was in the NBA, just getting a little shit here and there to dry cleaning, running and getting shit. Started like, <clears throat> Booking parties for him, then booked a couple of ads, little sponsorships. Somebody like, hey, nigga. You a manager. Man. That's, yeah. right. That's what you're doing. <laughs> doing your whole job right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. you're you know, managing like eight different motherfuckers in the league. So there's a okay. lot of people doing that. Yeah, but I mean, because the thing is, nobody's exposed. Like, it wasn't a music industry then. So it wasn't right. like nobody knew to be an A&R. Right. Like, that wasn't a job. Like, being a producer wasn't a job, honestly. Like, right. it wasn't some shit you did in Atlanta. It was like niggas do talent shows and you just be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I remember. Yeah, sound like it, man. Rest in peace like to the talent show. I remember, I remember going to like, I remember going to Tri Cities talent shows, and I was in mm-hmm. middle school, elementary school, like begging to go because all the dancers groups was in it, the strikers, mm-hmm. all that shit. And then they used to have, uh, you remember Flea Market USA on yeah. Stewart Avenue. And they had to look. They used to have an open mic in the back on Saterdays. I lived they on would deal, perform. by the way. That's why I used to walk that bitch. But My grandmother lived on the deal. How still on deal? Seven oh seven. No, not. Well, I ain't gonna put that. Yeah, it's right still there. there. Huh? <laughs> right, 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 right. Still got family. It's nice over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's huh? very nice over there. Bro, they, this, this house is over there selling for four hundred, <laughs> four fifty, yeah. five hundred. Nah, the house over there going. They, but how was it to believe that Atlanta was gonna be the sauce before anybody? You know what I'm saying? It was on. The thing you saw on TV was New York, New York, New York. We didn't believe it was gonna be the sauce. We just like fuck it. We had no choice. Like it wasn't. No, it's like it's almost like either you gonna be yourself, or it ain't. Or you just ain't gonna be shit. Cause we had been in New York trying to, trying to do they their rap, their mm-hmm. hip, their version of it. Right. And it, it, you just realize like you never gonna be as good as somebody else at doing them. So if you figure out how to just do you. So y'all went to New York trying to like find pro, like production. Nah, like we okay. Way? So the group I was in, PA, we got signed first. Okay. And we got signed. Organized Noise did our production. <laughs> like it was. The same people, we were all the same crew, right. but it was our first time doing it with us with money. Mm-hmm. So we were like trying not to fuck the bag up. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. So the we'll pressure of of being the first and trying to well not first because crisscross was out, arrested development, yeah, yeah. people who were, you know, we had groups that were owned, but we didn't have an Atlanta group. Right. right. Mm-hmm. So we we were like trying to make sure that we were doing it right and represent it. But what we were doing was kind of using their their bar. And that was like weird, yeah. but it, it made us like learn everything first. It's almost like learning everybody rules. Yeah. And yeah. then we're like, we're gonna take all this shit. So we went to New York one time at performing at a Red Alert birthday party, the group I was in. Shout out to Red Alert. Straight up, yeah, yeah. super DJ. Right. <laughs> and um, right. and but what we noticed was they didn't they didn't boo, but they didn't clap. Mm-hmm. And afterwards, somebody told us it was like, yeah, man, they y'all were good, man. Y'all, I mean, shit, y'all didn't get booed in New York. That's crazy. I'm like, yeah, but they ain't do shit though. Yeah, <laughs> like, I ain't crazy. Like, I, like right. you don't, don't, you ain't gotta do that to me, bro. Right, <laughs> yeah, 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 true. Boy, they ain't boo you off. Man. Like, nigga, I just saw that shit. Like, yeah. they didn't do nothing. <laughs> they didn't fuck with our boy. What's up? And he was like, well, I mean, well, I mean, y'all did good, but I mean, it, we done seen that. And that sound like what niggas told Gucci. It's like, bro, we seen that one song. Yeah, I mean, we used a lot of energy you doing. It, <laughs> it just wasn't good, bro. <laughs> ain't nobody boo. So y'all got this. Ain't nobody <laughs> boo. We just. <laughs> 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 so you got the people in their kitchen and got them come back. And yeah. Start your own and like, yeah. And we came back and was like, hey, man. It's just, I mean, I won't even be talking about that shit for real. Like, it's yeah. like the shit that you start <laughs> thinking about, like, Tim Boots and what? <laughs> like, it's like, like, nigga don't even want that shit. So yeah. I mean, like, it's like. We die. I heard, I heard uh, uh, Andre had a Timberland. He wanted to wear like a Timberland sweater for players ball. And yeah. they was like, nigga, no. Yeah, no. Nah, like, like, yeah, like, no. Braves, <laughs> Braves and goddamn. Like, that was like. It was an argument about it? It wasn't an argument. It was, it was a debate, though. 
yeah. Like, you know, it ain't like it ain't but so much you can ask, you can suggest some shit and they can say yeah or no, nah, but it was like the conversation of, I mean, it just don't look like Atlanta. Like right. we don't really do that. Right. It's like we it, it was coming out of it was almost like the Wiz and the brand new day shit. <laughs> <laughs> Like, fuck it, man. Just put the Atlanta shit on. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Listen, if you die, if you could if you could put that in there, please. Right there. Just a little piece. Right there. Just a little piece. You oh, love okay. the Wiz. Bro, I'm just saying, bro. Visual. visual. Kids don't know it. Quincy Jones, nigga, go listen to the Wiz right now. We were trying to get us to do a Wiz theme something for Snack Pack for a smooth fight. For a smooth oh, fight. You can't win. <laughs> oh, yeah. The yeah no, there, was like, a, there was a sketch. It's the best. You can't get, you can't get out it's of the game. best. Uh, it's like, it's a, it's a trap. It's a real pimp song. Like, mm. you can't win. You can't get even. You can't get out of the game. Mm. Nigga, Kodak wrote that. But when that nigga said, you can't get out. Whew. Good <laughs> shit, nigga. <laughs> that nigga had all the black struggle in the world. That nigga was already <laughs> literally on the cross as a black nigga. nigga. With that nigga had like, woo, I got a Reese Cup ass nose, nigga. <laughs> a Reese Cup ass nose. Oh, nigga. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, 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 I thought this shit. Joe fucking this off, nigga. Joe oh. fucking this whole check off already. <laughs> so so, do, 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 do. Like, all right, so when did it, when oh, did you feel like it, it was like, all right, it's catching on now? Um, When Outcast happened. Like, once we understood, like, like, Players ball happened. Mm -hmm. That was like the first one. And, and it's almost like it was the, for the crew, I'm gonna say, it was the fuck it. Like, we gotta do a Christmas song. It's a Christmas song. Mm -hmm. So when that connected, just saying real shit, it was like, okay, let's just keep going. Like, it, it, was, the, it was like the, it was the blue check for the real shit. It sound like y'all made players ball and then found out it was Christmas and then just threw some Christmas <laughs> shit in there. No, it was I that player. No, no. like, it was no, just no, like no. y'all really was. Like, was, Christmas song. It was that Christmas, is fucking. No. You can't think right. it's Christmas well, when you listen it to the song. It, well, it wasn't one fucking with Christmas. It wasn't fucking with doing a Christmas song. Like it was like, well, fuck it then. Like it was almost. That's so clear. Ain't no chimney. Man, in there. Yeah, so get so up, so I won't be hanging on the chimney. Yeah, like all those things were like. Well, what do we do at Christmas? Like, and I, I feel like the story I've been told, but it's it's that the opportunity was there though. Like, right. LA said, be a, here's a song, it's a slot for you on the Christmas album. Mm. TLC's on the Christmas album, Usher's on the Christmas album, no, Tony Braxton's on that bitch. Um, like, yeah, you can be fuck it, just figure did it they out. Put like, it, did they put it on there? Yes, yes. yes. It, it, it was, was the hit. Uh -huh. It was the, the hit. That's the only shit we remember from that movie. Yeah, yeah I don't, I didn't have Slay Ride. That TLC Slay Ride. Okay, yeah, Slay Ride. You never don't get that LA. Uh, By the way, face Christmas. My, fun fact: My homeboy Mello, who was in the group, wrote Lisa's verse in that song. Oh, wow. oh shit! Yeah, that's, all right. so, that's one of the top. That's one of the top. That's why Dre was Christmas like, "I want a Timberland jacket." It's a Christmas song. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what y'all niggas talking about? <laughs> it's gold, right? It's gold, no. right? <laughs> the nigga probably paid the about eighty dollar for them. The I ironic part is, he went the, all, the whole opposite way. He ended up with no shirt on in the pool. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Nah, that shit's cold. How was that having a New York guy like Diddy telling y'all what to do? Yeah, uh, don't say no shit like that. Ooh, well, talk saying. about it. They no, directed. Real, he didn't tell me what to do. Come on, talk <laughs> your <laughs> shit, AP. <laughs> right. I mean, Let no, me I say it like that, but like. No, nah, I'm saying it, Nick. Well, I'm no, saying he's he's not <laughs> from Atlanta. He come and get some input from y'all to find out what to do, like to he, find. He, no, he saw it. He like what he's dope at. He looked at it. It was like, do that. You should do more of that. Like it's it's understanding like. Like what? What he's dope at is seeing the shit mm. and identifying it and placing it properly in the light. Okay. Yeah. So it's like that's what it, like he he absolutely understood yeah. that. Okay, y'all got your own thing. Like one of the dopest shits I saw it was like was him and Rico arguing because at one point it was resentment for the New York nigga being there telling us what to do. Mm, that's <laughs> and, real though. And but it's like all right, well see how it worked. You try try it your way. Ooh. And 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 it wasn't. But it it wasn't like he was trying to prove anything. No. It was just like. Why y'all doing this? It's y'all shit. And he finally came to Rico and said, hey, just FYI, you know this is your shit, so just whack. <laughs> so you might want to holler at your folks and tell them, just, you know, like, let's just get this shit straight. And it was like, yeah, yeah, fuck it. And then it just went into action, and Rico did everything he was supposed to do then. And right. he became, he stepped up as the leader. Mm. And was like, all right, y'all, so we're going to, you know, this is how we're going to play this. Yeah. Hey, man, I heard that uh, the video was done, shot, but it didn't. It still didn't land you in Atlanta, and so those cutaways when you see like the exit signs and all that shit was added on the exit on like 
the aftermath of it. Like after after it was already shot, then they I'm came honest, back. I don't remember that as a Man, fact. That shit's crazy, bro. I, I, no, we all like watch all the docs about. Yeah, it. yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, 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 it was like a lot going on during, during that time. Where we ended up. Yeah, <laughs> like, I bet. Seeing we seeing that video for the first time was such a monumental bro, point in life, my bro. childhood, Me too. bro. When you see your exit on the it was like, <laughs> yo, I saw Montrez. I saw yeah. Montrez when it was right there, right by, I saw the West End Trace days. I was like, bro, that, we just, I just saw that shit today. It's bro, crazy. Easy. Like, it, it fucked me all the way up, bro. No, nah, I mean, listen, man, we, we, we felt that. Like, we felt like that was the pride of it. Like, mm-hmm. once that shit connected, it was like, oh, we got to go super hard. Yeah. And, you know, and, and that's. And and again, we had the vehicle. We had outcasts, like like, cause again, PA our group, we were dope. We were we were talented, mm-hmm. but they were young and they were energetic and they were in it, mm-hmm. and they were able to like translate all this information from Goody Mob, from us, from Organized Noise, and make it sound right, like make mm-hmm. it exactly what it was supposed to be. It's like some young niggas with big brothers and uncles, and they like they was three sixty Atlanta niggas. Man, please listen to that. That's a that's a fucking gem. These kids be like, you know, they they around their circle. So it's yeah, like you it. got a whole bunch of seventeen right. year old like, bah, that shit got them, bah, bah, do it like, bah, 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 <laughs> nigga. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah, with you. And then you <laughs> might have a whole <laughs> nigga that be like, I mean, that's cool rhythm, but say something with the bias. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Bye, 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 story. Yeah. <laughs> and then you bye get a life. Kodak. You know what I'm bye saying? Bye, bye, life. <laughs> bye, bye life. <laughs> And then you get a Kodak, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you can't tell me a nigga like Kodak didn't have no old niggas like Man, that. listen, I saw a freestyle in my at 14. Yeah. And somebody just put up, well, it's probably old, but I saw it. And what he was saying then was like, like 23 year old nigga with a job. Come on, yeah. bro. Like, like They're talking about what they live. Cause some of these young niggas really like are adults. They are really taking yeah, care of yeah, shit and let it happen. Yeah. But like you said, they just got other people like, man, just do the shit that work, do the shit that, that, right. that's winning. But some of the ones that's really connected, like they said, the Von, the King Von dude, mm-hmm. like everybody fuck with him because he was telling stories. Some NBA shit. young boy, they say the same thing. I don't yeah, listen to I him. I actually like him. I like him. Yeah, but they yeah. say that they say that you know some that's how they kick it. So that's, some, that, some that, so that would be the question. Like that's why I like young boy. I like little baby. But like yeah, like I kind of like I like the bad kids. That's what's up. In school suspension, little group. You know what I'm saying ISS. Yeah. Because <laughs> because I, I, you know, it's almost like that might be like shit. I don't know if this therapy or not, but it's like that's me feeling like okay, I understand it. I, nigga, I know what you. The fuck you mean? Yeah, I feel you, bro. Like yeah. this shit don't make sense right now, but look, yeah. it means you just seeing too much. You right. fuck with the uh, with the drill shit. Cause I had a, I had a friend of mine just this past <laughs> week, same age as us. Uh-huh. It's like man, you got it. It's like man, you gotta listen to this drill shit, man. These niggas be spitting. I was like, who, man, who who, you got Yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, he tried to put me on a bunch of them. He started, he started sending me six, <laughs> six hundred breezy. Um, okay, wait a minute. Like, I, listen, um, I like some, again. I like the song. I don't FBG know enough of it. Duck, yeah. All, yeah. Them, all the Chicago niggas. Gotcha. And bro, I, I can't do it. Right. Bro. My blood pressure can't. Yeah, it's that, just that, too. It's, it's, like if I'm it's okay, here's the thing. Like too, if I'm in my Impala. Come like, on, man. It's a different. You know, it's like what I'm listening to. Might be a little darker, All right? But I just ain't really in that space to be able to like to truthfully appreciate it. Yeah, right. that's real. Right. That's real. Like so, if it's if it's too like if it's, if it's violent with no point, right. you know, like I like some like, I like some ignorant shit. Like my favorite song of all time is "Ain't Gonna Let Up." Mm. Like Come it's on, this, it's this Yola. the Yola, it's just the best song Come on, bro. Yeah. over every song. That shit will go forever. That nigga took his glasses. That shit will go forever, bro. I post that shit once every six months. Like this is the best fucking song. Shout out to uh, what's his name, Jay White, who did that. Uh, yeah. Hey man, listen. Let me tell you something. Man. Like every like word for word, I feel like man, shit. It's like it's gospel to me. Like I love yeah, that song. Sir, but man, anyway, but I like. When I can feel that there's a, like a point to it or like an intention behind it, like right. man, I'm just saying this because shit, like right. it, you can feel that part. Like I mean, and y'all were talking about a lot of deep subjects, like Dungeon Family. Like, where did the spirituality come from? Like, were y'all like, we we still lived in Rico's mama's house. Ooh, so y'all would have to pray before y'all eat type shit. Kinda, yeah, like, or at least yeah, pray to yeah. get food to eat. Like, you know what I mean? It was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was just, right, step one. one yeah. I know you need to eat. Like, it's 18, yeah, it was like, it was, it was, it was like 10 folks in the house, like, just figuring it out. Like, but we knew it was something in, in all us being there. Mm-hmm. And his mom, seeing his mom put up with it, it's like, it's so many, the examples made it, it made it impossible to not recognize that it was bigger than just some rap shit. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. You know, so, yeah. Damn, sure I promise you. 
So um, I like to ask a lot of people that's been in the industry for a while this question because a lot of people don't know about this part. They just see the glitz and glamour. But what was like, I guess you would say, the biggest setback that you had mm -hmm. doing a, any of this stuff? Music, A&R, whatever you got to do. Okay, so I guess <laughs> what would, I guess, normally be the setback probably was, it, it was, I actually, it was the highlight for me. Like, when mm -hmm. I got fired, I got fired from Sony as I was the executive vice president of Urban Music, like, mm -hmm. and they did a regime change. So a lot of, like, I got let go. Mm -hmm. But because I got let go as an executive, it was different. I got paid out. It was, you know. Right. It was like, it was like, it was like, it was like, it was the first world. Got that yeah, gold. Like, that got that first world. So like, golden like, parachute. Like, I'm good. I'm yeah. good. No, 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 no. No, it's right. New ties. But, like, new breaks and everything. So. Straight and shit. But, but that moment gave me the first time where, like, in, in the whole career, everything was kind of going up, going up, going up, right? And you kind of get a bunch of people who fuck with you on the on the come up. But when I got fired, it looked like I fell off. Mm -hmm. I instantly Except. lost weight. Wow. Like just people. Yeah. And it was like the people who, you know, you almost start, get, you could see like, oh, you ain't fuck with me, fuck with me. You, mm, you was on the ride. Yeah, yeah you were, you know, if it's cool, but it wasn't like, you don't believe that this is me, like that I got here, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. it, it, it kind of, mm -hmm. that was the first clarity moment. Okay. But then I was able to like fall off and like, oh, I'm gonna stay in, I'm gonna stay fall off. I like this shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, stay fall off. Stay fall off. Stay that's fall off. hilarious. Yeah, that's so it's like you can move as right. freely as you choose and get things done. Mm -hmm. Cause when I say lost weight, it was like the things you gotta now pay attention to and you're responsible for with all the extra shit that comes from success. You you then aren't paying attention to the the thing that you just normally just that you just walking through life. You know, yeah. oh shit, that was funny, or oh shit, that's dope. Or, like, you don't get a chance to do that because you're like, man, that's the, like, man, come on. Right. Like, it's all that other shit. Mm. Can't even laugh at shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, ah, <laughs> right. No that's responsibility. What I was going to say, that was what's cool about some of these young rappers too. Like, they put their homeboys on early. Like, if, mm -hmm. if their homeboys around them that rap, they'll put them on. Like, you know, back in the day, Somebody would take a long time before they were like, all right, now I got a team since you know me. Like, these dudes get two hits and then they got a whole team of rappers. Man, my boy rap too. So mm -hmm. I and they'll get a hit too. They be yeah. getting hits too. That's cool <laughs> so, so here, but, I, but okay, so here's the question, because I don't, I, I don't know this. This is a real question. All right. If that's the thing, right, how do you build it, anything? Because you don't make a foundation of none of it, right? Because I think that was, that if, if the lesson of the Dungeon Family shit is anything, is get all the best ideas, put it in something that can go the farthest. Mm. Outcast. Mm -hmm. Like it's, CeeLo's absolutely as important as anybody on that album, that first album. Um, yes. Like everybody did something and contributed right, right. something that was necessary. Right. Cause yeah. it, it was the thing that, really that made it authentically Atlanta cause some, we could check each other. Mm -hmm. mm. But, but we know we're doing it to build this big building first. Right. And then once we get this building here and it's, it's set, we can get him all be straight. Like little Will can get one off. Like, yeah, 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 cool yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool Will breeze. was the hero of the goddamn. Give me one for little Will. The so oh, icy yeah. goddamn hook. I Look make sure, man. Child. I remember man. It hang down I, to my <laughs> He said that right before the bass. He said, you know, because he cut the song off, we was playing mm -hmm. it. He was like, yeah, he played it. Look at my dick part. Man, they used to scream at the top of their lungs, no matter what party you was at. Yeah. That was your part. Yes, yeah, sir. But, but my shit from him is looking for Nikki. Like, and yeah. why is no, it not on any ready. streaming platform since I'm here with the executive? Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. Like, Y'all ain't ready for it. I can't find it nowhere. So ready. Ready. No, it just sounds like it hadn't been requested. It's like, it, honestly, all that shit is like they put it up as people request it. Like, same oh. way if you go to a record store, like, people looking for it, you get it. Like, man, nobody asked I for it. I just thought they had everything I'd be on deck. I'd be searching it. Think about how much music. Is you right. Like, so, and, and back then, and if you didn't have a, like, what happens is, hopefully something like this shit will have, uh, the verses happens. People are like, who is Lil Will? Who is this yeah. Lil Will that you speak of? Yeah. And then somebody goes and finds this song, puts it up, and then it goes, you Start know. Streaming. That's right. how, you know, Missy had a whole, like, resurgence after the Super Bowl when she worked, when she did the Ke um, Katy Perry shit, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. people knew, thought she was a new artist. No that fucking way. Yeah, white no, people. They not white people, just new people. Like, if you got a phone, you just, like, if you got a phone and you 12, right. why would you know Missy? Before, yeah, right. You're right. It's more humans. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I be going to schools, like, doing, like, uh, teacher day doom, and shit. Doom, doom, doom. 
No, nah, nah. but I'd be like, <laughs> y'all remember uh, 1996 when uh, the Atlanta had the, uh, the the Olympics? They'd be like, no, nah, man, this nigga was, was not fun. born. Nah, I can't remember none of that. But in my mind, I'm like, kids, you know about the Olympics when it was in Atlanta? But they's like, nah, nigga, that was a nah, whole other generation. They don't come up on my algorithm at all. <laughs> 96? The 96 Olympics ain't on there. They ain't right. talking about Lisa right. Leslie. <laughs> Lisa <laughs> Leslie. They don't know that. They, they don't know Lisa Leslie and Cheryl's second dream. Since Carl Thomas Boy. was out. And the other dream Man. team, Don Staley. So look, now that you hilarious. said, now that you said you like the bad kids, that obviously makes sense that you had Ti early, like Tip early. Was, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm sure because I remember him going, coming on the radio. I'm the king of the motherfucking side. I was like, who is this nigga? <laughs> Talking big. I, I like I it though, that. like because yeah, I, I meet him the same, probably the same exact age. Man, I might be a little bit older, but. We was happy. Mm-hmm. We was happy that the nigga was talking that shit. Feeling good by himself. And the nigga sell dope and, and all that rap. shit. Like, nigga, we was like, yo. And he could rap. Yo, he could rap. rap. He could rap for real. He could rap for real. T.I. was like the Jay-Z of the South. Like, just First, spitting the bar album, like, bars. Mm-hmm. We was like, yo, this nigga is talking crazy, son. Right. And, <laughs> and the thing is, he can use, like, on some rap shit, he use all the muscles. He can tell a story. Come on. He can talk that shit. Come on. He can say something important. Mm-hmm. He can, like, he articulates the, like, almost the heart of nigga niggas. You know what I'm saying? The heart, the nigga niggas. Nigga niggas. Nigga niggas. It's hard of title nigga. of this episode. <laughs> the heart of nigga niggas. The heart of nigga <laughs> niggas. Do you smile when you see him, like, coming on TV? Every time. Kind of be an activist? Do you That's have to, amazing. like, lean back? Like, I, I smile every time I see him. That's that amazing. Crazy, like, how how literally. old was he when you got him? I didn't get him. When, <laughs> I, when, I met him, when you started. <laughs> yeah, you want somebody else to handle the questions, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. How old was <laughs> <is it>? when, <laughs> when you got him? But the funny part, he's talking to me like that's how I talk to people. Yeah, right, right, right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Still ain't forgave myself. <laughs> Nigga, try to get a TV program. But I do have a question. How did y'all, I guess, meet? Or did somebody let you know, like, yo, you got to check this kid yeah, out? So, two, two, two different ways. Like, I got a homeboy from New York named Guy who I think when Tip was probably like 16, he hit me and was like, hey man, that's a little kid down there in your backyard you need to check out. Mm-hmm. Because he was going to New York back and forth with his dad. Pop, yeah. So I didn't, but I didn't meet him then, I was like, all right. And then maybe like a year and a half later, Jason brought, uh, Jason, his manager, Jason Jeter, Jeter worked Jeter. at Patchwork, Jeter. brought him to the studio oh. to meet up, to meet me, Reese and Mello at PA. I worked at LaFace, I had just started working at LaFace, mm. but we had a deal over at DreamWorks and we were producing, so it was like, you know, it worked, it, it made sense. Right. So when I, um, Reese called me, it was like, yo, come down here, like, this dude, Jason guy, he, he dope, you probably gonna like him too. <laughs> and I'm like, so I, I get there, um, it, it's tip, and, and he, he been the same, he just ain't like, I, I feel like he might have been 19. Maybe 1920. What was his hat? His hat was got <laughs> down full tilt. It was up he there. He said it was up there. <laughs> it was full <laughs> tilt. Oh, it was fitted braids at this point. It was all the way fitted. Nah, nah, nah. Like I don't even think that's why it was like it just. I think that's just where it's comfortable for the nigga. Like <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, that nigga must got one leg longer than the other or something. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch, that bitch don't go nowhere. I done seen him in the scuffle. That motherfucker. That's right. hilarious. I swear to God, I was at birthday bag and every nigga was in that bitch. Like, Fuck you mean? <laughs> yeah. Goddamn, having cricks all in the head. Yeah, all nah, that shit was everywhere. So I was, I was in South Carolina. Niggas Bruh, was wearing the hats like that. All, right? the, all <laughs> the little bitty niggas was having a voice. Bro, nigga was at church. Goddamn. <laughs> in his pew. <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> sleep like that. Like. It was up there. Uh, <laughs> it's in the pew, goddamn. Uh, <laughs> the pew. I'm the king. What? What you talking about? Yeah. But it made going to see the king. We're going to see the king. You stupid as fuck. Take me to the bullshit. <laughs> Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Hold on, I gotta say so. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I might say before we tilt come, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it now. You gotta say it now. The tilt right. ain't coming. Yeah. The tilt coming. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> I remember being in church, my nigga. Uh-huh. Okay. And <laughs> and quoting, still ain't forgave myself <laughs> as a <laughs> poem <laughs> in church. In church. Oh, yeah. Who co- Did any- <laughs> nigga, it was twelve hundred people, <laughs> oh, and they gave me a, they gave me a love offer. He was a they church. gave Ledger you a, you got paid. Been, oh yeah, I gave ten percent back, oh. nigga. Don't you try my <laughs> face, tip. bro? I, I like, his I like his points. And I've been in and out of church since I had a lesson. Spoil rotten. Time out, twelve hundred people. Nobody caught you. With no daddy present. <laughs> <laughs> but nigga, they were like. <laughs> but you know the cold part? The nigga was 21. Cause that came out of old boy. Fuck you, you knew better, nigga. 
Nobody caught you? No, I mean, the kids probably was bobbing their heads, but like, uh, you, 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 you <laughs> they wouldn't make I no give offerings, a fuck. Though. This nigga got a love offering. Like, offering. But, like, but where everybody Cheap? doing your love offering? How much though? you like, looking for? You feel me? me? How much you looking for the love offering? What you getting for? Oh, I mean, I was just, I wasn't looking for no love. 1,200 people he caked up. I don't know. It was 25. You got twenty five hundred off yeah, of another nigga's I'll, work. I still ain't forgave myself. Off a stolen piece of art. I ain't getting that shit. Stolen piece of art. I got to pull up more than twenty five hundred, nigga. He will ask. Boy, I got so much pussy off of Big Rude's poetry. This nigga been sampling. Told y'all what I said. I had to tell him that. Four o'clock today. I told him I like Rude. I said it at four o'clock today. I got it. Appreciate the words. I be now. I don't be saying it's me. I don't ever be like, yeah, that's me. I'm coming out. You just say them. I just say them. Like, you, hey, man, do you? Outcast. Pronounced outcast. This <laughs> thing <laughs> <laughs> Adjective meaning homeless and unaccepted in society. <laughs> hey, but let's look deeper than that. So she, <laughs> <laughs> are you an outcast? Get so I am. If she, if, she, if she don't ask you, you don't say nothing. <laughs> Hey man, real nigga shit. Real nigga shit, is it? Uh, hey man, I can't hey. Even oh, that. hey man, that man. ain't my word. Shit. Ain't my word. <laughs> I'm glad you told on yourself. Oh, hey man, man. I'm just letting y'all know it's living. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, hey man, but I guess that's live. the point. This shit's supposed to be useful, man. It's like, again, this shit applicable for your you life. You gave me man. the word for these bitches, bit rude. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a question, though. Did you guys, you know, as popular as trap music is now, obviously mm -hmm. you guys started it. Man, what voice is this? Go ahead. Oh no, my <laughs> my no, my question was gonna be: Did you get any pushback initially for it? Mm. Yeah, like that's why Dope wasn't a trap, wasn't the first single. Oh, uh, for no, Tip. Shit. Like it was supposed to be first. Like that was like the that was like that's the one I, I, that's the one I went into the like. Ooh, ooh. We got this yeah, one. I heard that in L.A. That's that's the one I know. So yeah. so when I played it, it was like it's right when the face moved. I mean, L.A. went from the face to Arista, so. It was, not in Atlanta anymore. Uh, mm. So I went to New York, excited like an Atlanta nigga. <laughs> and Did you stand on the table? No, I don't do no shit. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> boy, <laughs> don't, don't disrespect <laughs> this nigga. Hey, man, hey, <laughs> baby, this, this is the culture. It's just grown up checking. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the greatest. It's the greatest <laughs> Tyler does it all the time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, no, just saying, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's how I say no, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, oh, my God. <laughs> so no, so I played this shit. And niggas was like, <laughs> crack a key across your knee to do it fifty. He does man, drug crack trafficking. It. Listen, and he's like, man, no. The question was, so what radio station we gonna play this shit on? Ooh, and I'm like, man, yeah. listen, <laughs> like yeah. it ain't even about that right now. Like mm -hmm. let's go get, you know, like it's a club. Like it, it'll be a classic. And niggas like, nah, nah. That's and then crazy. what about the Pharrell record he did? And which I was like, no, we gotta get to that. Mm -hmm. Like if we do this right. Yeah. By the time shit. we get to this motherfucker, like, oh, they're gonna be so shit. happy. Yeah. We, yes. Like, oh, he got but we shit. can't. We, let's not skip no grades. But again, it was like that Damn. was that was being new. That was people a, don't think like that. That was right. a learning curve for me. Though it was like, okay, I gotta like that's when you find out you gotta just fight for the shit that don't make sense to people when it makes real sense to you. Like when you can see it. Yeah. You just gotta do that shit. Well, that's you started jewel. original songs. That's like it wasn't niggas wasn't chase after y'all niggas didn't really chase the radio records. They had to go clean up the shit that's on the mixtape yeah. or they playing at prime time. They had yeah. to go get it yeah, right sure. for the radio. Like you said, people gonna request it though. After yeah. a while, you can't just not stop listening to people calling up and say, "Hey man, play that song. Play that song." You can't yeah. stop. You right. know? I didn't know you. I was still dope though. When you left, when yeah. you, did, was it like these niggas? <laughs> nah, I mean, listen, I have yeah. no shit like that, man. No, I'm saying. <laughs> nah, I mean, nah, niggas was like, I mean, I, I got comfortable. Um, no, nah, we left like, uh, <laughs> well, nah, we left feeling like, like I, I left the meeting thinking. All right, we just got to figure it out. And I don't have the money to just go do some shit. Like, it wasn't internet. It wasn't like you put a song out. Right, right. So it's like, it took planning and, and yeah. actual money to do shit. So I was like, okay, so this is what we're going to do. They We're going to go with the Pharrell. We're going to go with the Neptune, Beanie Man record. But we're going to put Dope Boys on the on the B side. So okay. that way, DJ going to play what they want to play. Yeah. All right. And then that's that was the... That was the compromise, but it was also like the plan. It was like if all of us fail, hey buddy, flip that shit over. Yeah. Right. So right. it kind of okay. So it still kind of was the kind of was the first. It was the first one it's that connected. One that stuck, yeah. It was the one that connected, and then it was the one that kept him on the road, mm -hmm. yeah. which is what got him to all the other shit. Mm -hmm. We've been following them so long. My my brother bought a motherfucking a bootleg. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm 
from them niggas. Who, no, around the corner. As, nigga, oh, I, yeah. I'm the uptown. I don't oh. know the nigga had got the Yukon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, them yeah. niggas was but everybody wanted. I, 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 no, I sent no, him to he, get the he, PSC in the streets though. Right, like this is the thing, but we understood that. Well, he, I don't, yeah. anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah, I, 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 it was he just vetoed right. like 12 yeah. thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was right with you. I'm not going to die out to my uptown comedy. Out of uptown on Peace Street, right across from Houston. T.I. and I'm familiar with the area. All the time. And you could get the the new shit from T.I. Like the new PSC in the street got it from him. You used to come and fuck I'm talking about the mixtape, not the real. You used to come and fuck with the comedy shows on Tip you doing yeah, but you know, I think I always like I just always went to the comedy spot. Like, no word. like I just like, yeah, I just like comedy. It's funny. I'm, it's, it's funny. funny. <laughs> <laughs> comedy, man. I just it's like true. comedy, you man. Know, it's it's, comedy. it's, it's funny, bro. It's funny. Shit is fun. But it's like the idea of seeing shit and just repeating it how you see it, and that hitting different than the other person who saw it. Cause I'm like, it could be like. God damn, could be he just explained comedy to everybody out there. Really? <laughs> <He's a lot laughs> all of the up and coming comedians that watch this show, <laughs> don't turn, nigga, cause that was for you. That was for you. I mean, you. if you turned already, you, <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> you said, don't turn after that. You know what to say, Kamal. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you what do you remember seeing in the 559? Did you ever go to 559 comedy? Yeah, I, you know what? I, my, my favorite 559 memory is uh, it was amateur night. Okay. And it was just us, like it might have been. I think Pretty Ken was with me. I, I don't know, but we were in there on some random shit, and somebody from Harris Holmes was up on the mic doing some comedy, and some um, Harris Holmes shit. Some Harris Holmes comedy. <laughs> yeah. So, it, so the nigga would say it was it was super local to like almost like this building in Harris Holmes. Like, That's hilarious. And so, but it happened to be. Some, <laughs> <laughs> nigga said super. But well, you know Darius down the street. <laughs> two goals, yeah. Yeah. Harris and Four E. Right. Man, you know how that nigga well, is. You know. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it was some, it was some niggas in there from New York, two dudes, and they were in there with like Versace shit, like short sets, Cartiers, mm. like it was okay. like New York, New York yeah. and, and they felt like it, right? Yeah, so right, right. One of the dudes jumps up and said, "Yo, B, yo, get the fuck off stage. Nobody <laughs> wants to hear this shit." <laughs> and, and buddy, and buddy said, "Huh?" Niggas <laughs> 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 didn't hear nothing. <laughs> Huh? And Nick said, yeah, get the fuck off. And, and his homeboy, no, like, man, sit your ass down. Mm -hmm. And he said, all right, and we're doing it on stage. He said, all right, all right, all right, buddy. Hey, hey, where you from? He mm -hmm. said, New York, the boogie down. He said, mm, okay, I'm from Harris home. <laughs> he, he said, and the dude's like, so who gives a fuck? And he said, okay. I'm gonna explain it to you. Like, maybe you don't understand geography. Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, he, got, he got funny He got then. smart. He got, he got funny then. He said, oh, God. You might not understand geography. That's so hilarious. let's put it like this. If we get in some shit and you call your folk, <laughs> <laughs> they got to call New York. <laughs> if I call my folk, they at the bar. <laughs> they had the bar. And, 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 buddy, and buddy said, like he was about to contemplate going, and his buddy jumped up and knocked him clean out. Shut the fuck saved up. Saved his whole life, nigga. <laughs> Lord have mercy. And his, like he saved both of them. His, ho his own homeboy Take knocked him out. Oh in his my beside. god. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, don't even do what is killed, boy. <laughs> That's that your shit. I want to see him ride home. He's like, yo, that nigga got you, son. Yo, <laughs> you need to see it. That yo, the <laughs> other comedian that <laughs> pulled up. Yo, this nigga was. You heard of TK wild. Kirkland? <laughs> <laughs> knocked your shit off. Yo, shawty, Some nigga yo. named TK, big nigga. I don't know. Shawty, shawty hit you in the face. Shawty, yeah. shawty, hey. shawty hit you off the top rope. Shawty. He hit you with a hey. I'm from Harris. Wow. Oh, that's yeah, hilarious. Wow, that's amazing. That, that's a great story. That, right that rule was so rough. They said Bruce used to tell the comedian headlining, just do 10, bro. If you can. <laughs> yeah, if you can. Do what you can get through. If you can do 10, my yeah. nigga, get the fuck up out of there. Wow, I missed yeah. that. What do you yeah. think is missing from like Atlanta comedy? Because 85 South is like figuring it out how to kind of get monetize this, but we have had some of the most talented people come through this city and influence the whole world through the comedy. Because rappers are sitting in the comedy clubs like, uh, like, how do we connect it? Like, 85 South is doing it correctly, but like, you know, the it's rest funny, of like, us. If, if, I, don't, I don't know, but if I were y'all, like, because all of y'all are connected, like, you got to use the biggest platform to promote the other platforms so that you have other places to go. Even when, when they're the biggest right now, they still need to make sure that they're seeding because that's, that's how you keep the, the culture and the economics of it going. 
because you got to make it cool. Like the, what what DC did with Nick for Nick, right? By not taking that job, made DC cooler, which made eighty five South cooler and more important. And right. you got a following now who are like, like I fuck with him as a human. Right. Right. So it's just really like the human shit. It's like using all the the access properly and not not crabbing. Mm. Crab. Segway. Crab. <laughs> human yeah. Bam. Yeah. You did. Like, screw, screw. All that shit. You see the merch in the you see the merch in the background. Hoodies nah. on sale. Hey man, Free if y'all want to white folks out on the plane, get you a human as fuck, man. Because it got yeah, a yeah. it got a fist in there too. Hell yeah, yeah. Fist yeah. In there. It's a fist in there. Fist. It's a fist in so there. So has the um has the internet killed the A and R job? Because it's it seems to me that you know record companies are just using services like SoundCloud to discover artists and they're not really, the development side of it is not really as prevalent as it was before. They want the artists to, to come in fully developed and they just want to put the records out. I mean, I think it's, it's also based on what the artists are asking for. You, They come in asking for, I'm already developed money. Right. So it's like, if you want the big check, you got to do the big job. Like big the heavy job. lifting, all that shit. Like you got to go out there and find them people. Like. Because what what the record company does know is okay. If that's why their their deals are so off off balance. Because they like you know we got basically we got a trap. Fact. You want to come set up over here? Mm -hmm. We already moving. Yeah. Don't sell me. So you want this <laughs> spot? <laughs> they go buy it anyway. You see yeah. the line, nigga. Yeah, they yeah. out here. So yeah. if you gonna get in, you you can't get in top top dollars. You, gotta, you yeah, know it's come it's in and sell the Nixon you gotta come. You gotta sell Fact. ten of these. If you sell ten of these, you can have one of your own. Watch the back door. <laughs> Watch the dishes. dishes clean, and then you, and you move on up. And it's but but it's the process is what the internet has changed. Like it's people who are doing it right are still using all the same functions. Like right. little baby is still being developed. Coach right. and P and them are still doing the job. Right. They and and because they have the 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 money to actually just do it before they go, mm -hmm. it actually helps. Like because most of the people that in in labels now aren't necessarily from a culture where they can. Where they can identify it as authentic or not, they have to wait to see if it works. Mm -hmm. So that's where, like, it's like the mentality is that they, the internet has allowed for <clears throat> for you to see what you need. You know what I'm saying? And if you know, like, if you need an anr, you go find somebody who do who do that for you. Right. Like, you don't have to go to a label and give up, you know, eighty percent of what you can possibly make if you develop Jesus properly. Christ. Correct. Yeah. Prematurely, you know what I mean? Let me ask you this: If you are an artist or you believe in the artist and you ain't got nothing but ten thousand dollars what do i do what do you but what you believe what do they do like they're, 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 they're the field of music they're the field of music i'm gonna pitch me right now yeah he pitched hard you know what i'm saying they're, they're, they're into music. Yeah, okay, so but do they have and they got music already, and you believe him, or you think uh, he can rap, and I got ten grand. Um, that's a good gone. question. Uh, so he, well, maybe one project, and you know, it's done decent for the local reach that it's gotten so far. Then you, you take it to the internet, and you go, you find that. Well, first of all, you gotta find out who he's for, who the person, who they talking to, who who are they for, right? And take that money and just dump it into finding those people on the internet. And if they, and if it's real, they'll tell you, yeah, we fuck with it, right? Like, but it's the same. Again, it's the, it's the same principle. It's just different tools. So you just dumping it in mar internet marketing. Yeah, if right. you got the product already, because mm. the whole point, if you got a product, that's why labels, that's why they're in the position they are, because like, you don't even need our money to make it. Right. So we are really only paying for the probability of success. Okay. So it's like it sounds like it could be successful and there's a team around you who doing jobs that lead to success and right. you know and if you got a little money it means you can we, can, we don't even have to talk to you until you b run out of your money. Mm. You know it's it's the 10 grand is you got to figure out what it is you trying to sell who you trying to sell it to get $10,000 worth of shit to them people. Mm and try to flip that to whatever that 10 is supposed to equal later so you can keep doing that. Until somebody come to you and say, yo, I see you successfully flipping, that, right. that what you started with 10 is now 50. Right. Before you get out of hand and get power and all this shit, let me put some money in and, and seem like I'm helping more than I am and, and so I can be in. Right. I believe you. Hop in, in the car with you, you're yeah. already on your you're way. Moving. Oh, yeah. so, so do you think that the artist should, should Try to maintain their independence and stay outside the machine at this yeah, point until they need until the machine. They, right. 
Right. Like everybody don't need a machine for like you don't nobody needs it first. You know what I mean? Unless you came in with you know, like you look at somebody like and I'm using older shit, but like you look at Kanye, mm -hmm. he came in with four albums of ideas. He needed a budget to get all these ideas to fruition so that he can do his plan the way he was gonna do it. Right. But he also knew that I'm using this platform to get to the next platform that's gonna give me my real money. Mm -hmm. So it was almost like the sacrifice of like I'm gonna sacrifice this part of the art enough to get enough light to use the rest of the shit I, I got. Mm -hmm. And and that's just like the the, the marketing or the, the budgeting of his talent mm -hmm. properly. Yourself, got to you believe, know, yeah, but you, you got a plan. About but, that. Yeah. yeah, you only think about the plan. You don't believe in yourself. Like, nah, you know what? I'm gonna just get this off. Yeah, let me just do this shit. Like do this. the ultimate <coughs> thing about Kanye that you know he believed in himself. He gave other niggas hit records. Real talk. <laughs> like I'm gonna make another one. No. Smash. Ne never smashes. mind me. Yeah. Just let me get this off, and it's gonna help me. I tr I ain't tripping. Right. Like mm. where in, in the difference is you can see people who they got one, and somebody like yo. That record, why don't you put that over here and see if it helps? And they're like, nah, man, this my this my one though. Mm. Well, that's all you got. Nigga, have at it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gone. That's real. I'm already doing my thing. Right. Or it ain't even. It I, ain't, can, I can create for me, I, I'm gonna say that it ain't even that for me. It's more of that's where your belief in what you do is. So I, I tend to fuck people who believe they can do more than they doing. Mm -hmm. Man, Amen. shit. That's why I say when my fuckers be like, man, my fucker stole your joke. I, yeah, I got some more jokes, nigga. That was just some shit I saw and thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do that shit all day long. <laughs> See and think all day. Long. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All fucking day. Yeah. <laughs> like, I make some fucked up jokes. I take judgments. I be having all kind of thoughts. Like, hell yeah, this nigga. Like, but it's <laughs> it's how you use your your shit. Mm. What's what's um? I'm gonna throw out songs from the Dungeons family. This is just me. And you know, <laughs> if you fuck with it, tell the story. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Uh, crumbling herb. Yeah. What about it? Do you, did, uh, could you tell us anything about it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 it's self explanatory. I mean, niggas killing niggas. No, I'm they talking don't about understand. like. They are, so I'm they recorded it in uh, <laughs> Ivan Hayes' studio? Oh, Curtis Mayfield? No, no, no. Curtis Mayfield. You're talking about Curtis Mayfield. Crumbling herb, I don't think was, was Curtis Mayfield. That was first album. Like, Just we did. Goody, Goody was. There, that was that okay. happened at um, Stank on it, which is which was Boss Town. But it's okay, Boss Town, yeah. Bobby Brown shit. Man, that's just one of my favorite songs. I didn't know if you had. You know, I get it. Jesus, <laughs> you know. had a backstory. I just had a backstory. You know, man, niggas were like, man, somebody like, crumbled you, my herb. You stupid as hell. You know what? <laughs> niggas named my name <laughs> in that you song. You make beats at all? Do you touch yeah. the pads at all? Yeah. Like, like I produced like we did the beat for like we do. I did like for PA. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> produce Green Light, Non Legend. What? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, oh, saying. you produce green you light? I'm saying like what? He, uh, well, co-produced with my home boy, oh, Malay. Man, that's my shit, hey, boy. I was on Stump the Yard. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, yeah, that's I don't know if you ever met you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so funny. Actor over here. Who? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You know my, you know that my was, work. Nigga. Yeah, you know that's, his line. that's his line. That's his line. He said that. Not at all. No. <laughs> no, but what's funny is everybody in the dungeon house can do all the jobs. I that's believe amazing, it too, bro. Like that's a that's the weird shit. Like everybody can step in and just do some shit. Yo, people don't give Timo enough vocal credit of his singing abilities. What? Timo can He's sing soulful. his ass He's off, soulful. bro. They do album jamming too. It is like it's for real. Yeah, it's not it's like all oh, them old. That's good for some old niggas. It's nah. like it's like jamming. Like yeah. mm -hmm. jamming. two like, chains always jamming. Yeah. yeah, two chains. Well, I mean, yeah, I think two chains album hard. Two chains don't never not be jamming. Though. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be making shit till he's eighty. <laughs> he oh, gonna yeah. always to that shit. <laughs> right now yeah. I'm in my wheelchair. Got a girl that real scared. Cause I'm about to hey. put her in the air, and that's a real left. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> come on. Yeah. You gotta say come on, you old. <laughs> Good. That's how you know that's <laughs> real. Yeah. So yeah, man. Sure. That's, that's so crazy. Sad. But like, how? What made you like? Tell for real to say happy instead of like keep CeeLo on it. Mm. What made? Well, it, well, it was. But the you did it so Atlanta. The circumstance. <laughs> it's just <laughs> what it ain't. Oh, no, because <laughs> tell us the story. The it's, I hate talking about shit like this, but uh, no, no, I don't. Okay, fuck it. Sorry, we got a podcast. Man. Yeah, it's like got to <laughs> talk about shit. Yeah, like God, <laughs> damn. Uh, that's, that's he, a part he, of it. That low key uh, lifestyle. Uh, he just looks. Okay. Go it took four hours to set up. We trying right, to reach right. the people with his ten thousand. <laughs> yeah, what like that traffic. Goddamn traffic. Um, <laughs> that goddamn boy. So okay. Cousin Mike. So 
he had did the record. It was we were trying to do it for CeeLo. It, there was you know apprehension about you know people at the label didn't feel like it was a good song or a good enough song for CeeLo. And Jesus Christ. he had the opportunity. To, he was going to put it on the soundtrack for Despicable Me. Mm. And he's like, well, okay, well, if y'all don't want it, can CeeLo just do it over here? And it was so much like political shit. And it was like one like it's like one of them things where it's like, bro, fuck that shit. Like, don't don't let them drag you. Like, just do that shit yourself. So, like, and, you know what I'm saying? Just do it yourself, champ. And, and and at the time, he just wasn't. He was trying to get around being an artist himself. Like, okay. he did. That wasn't what he was trying to do. Right. And you know, it was a cartoon, and it was like, you know, worst case scenario, ain't nobody gonna like. <laughs> but best case scenario, it <laughs> might sell a hundred million copies. <laughs> and see loads in the house like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga gave away the former grill. Oh my! This nigga, how long would be looking at your former like? Ooh, every time they cook a burger, brother. Yeah. Every time they fucking make a burger, it's good man. Good already had been successful. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit would really yeah, fucking like, hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, man, that was your only shot. Yeah, that was shit. it. Boy, that shit would really fucking hurt. Shit. Do you have any of those in your like career? Like where like you maybe missed the opportunity or misjudged an opportunity? No nah, man, my Zen shit don't work like that. Boy, okay. it's, it's like this shit work, bro. Do 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 This nigga is. Yeah, it's that's like, it crazy. It wouldn't work with like you change anything, you change everything. Mm. Mm. Butterfly effect. Diamonds <laughs> are forever. He dropping some jewels on this motherfucker. Okay. okay, you know, cause I be on my nerd shit. I'm trying. Like, were you? <laughs> it like, did you help? Were we gonna be all right? Did you help them make that record? Like, how did that come about with Kendrick Lamar? Like, crazy. that is like the generational piece and the happy song. It's like my first child. I was like, that's the, the, the tears. <laughs> and like, look at the I fucking mean. montage was to that shit. Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. It's, it's like, like when you want him to smile. It was yes, 2014, bro, nigga. Fuck this, you, that, that song was the song, the song of Uprising. Man, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It keeps, it pops up every time civil unrest, but like, it was Atlanta in now. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, so that's the thing. It's like, I contributed in a way that was, it was substantial, I guess, you know, to the point where I'm a part of it. Yeah, like I came up with some of the words in the hook. You know I'm going to ask what words. No, no, I mean, because it. Because <laughs> I'll tell you the lines I came up with and stumped the yard. That's and I just swear to God. Yeah. No, nah, all right, so you want to know my shit? Because uh, I'll tell you my story. We on the top of the mountain. And they was like, they was. Can you, was, can you tell the word? <laughs> <laughs> so top of the Do you want to hear my shit? No. <laughs> He's on top of the so so we on the top of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga interrupted. See, you know what I'm saying? Stone oh, Mountain. Oh, you know what I'm saying? A whole lot of Confederate niggas. The 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 <laughs> Come on, KP, fuck with me. So <laughs> we up there, me, and then they like, we stumping, we stepping. Doing it. And, and I was like, nah. Oh. They ain't it, player. They ain't it, shouting. I'm like, we the Thetas. 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 We wrote the Thetas. Thetas. And they were like, hell yeah. And then, you know what I'm saying? Okay, Remo. There we go. Now yeah. we know shit. Yeah. Classic shit. Number one in the box office. Most two. memorable okay. part of the fucking thing. Yeah, yeah it shit. was. We were having Thetas. Thetas. So the one that dude in there that he built like a Kini used to be built? A Kini. <laughs> Not the black man. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a 559 five, five, job. Go on, right? <laughs> the Kini had all the bitches, bro. God Kini damn. Black oh, man. He's got a, a successful modeling agency and he casts every video in Atlanta. Yeah, Shout out to Kini. Yeah, he yeah. produces a Young Jocks program over there. Him and Shouty. Program. Oh, yeah, <laughs> but like we gonna be all right though, for real. Like what what weed y'all was on in there? Like what's nah, the vibes? It it was, what was going it was on? It, like honestly, this shit was so there's so many random things that happened because it happened over like three or four years. Like Whoa. for real, did it beat in like wow. a long time ago mm -hmm. for somebody and they didn't it didn't connect. And when he was doing, he had a hook to it and he said some stuff and I was like, oh man, you know it'd be dope though. Or, or I think it was anyway. We had a one of those conversations, a creative conversation. Mm -hmm. He went back, did it, and was like, yeah, that fits. The other person didn't like it, so that shit sat for like two years. What was the other person? No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then, then Kendrick heard it like oh, a couple of weeks before his album was about to come out. I was like, oh, that's, what I, that's what he was missing. So that's he went back and put that sauce on it. Totally was what he was missing. And that made it, like, because if you take him off, right, mm -hmm. the hook is dope. Like I like it. I think it's dope. But the story that go that leads into that won't work. Yeah. 
like he he put he put real energy on it like yeah not just that we gonna be all right but if i'm at the preacher though but if the gun might blow but one way or another we're gonna be all right and it right. made it a different song or made it it made it that song right damn it's one of the rap songs you will cry to like if it's you like can oh silver please. unrest is going on yeah. you feeling like you know them heavy black weeks we done had as black men this black year. weeks yeah, 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 yeah we call it 2020 2020 yeah. but <laughs> the week of 2020 big ass nigga with a hoodie oh what a late word oh my <laughs> where the fuck is <laughs> the <laughs> check at bitch? yeah that's what i'm saying like it's, it's like it's weird i don't like the reason i don't that one in particular is like there's so many things that make that song that song that it's like I don't want to take no credit. I just have I'm happy to have been there. I'm grateful for. Yeah, that song like, is, a, is is taking on a life of its yeah, own. At it, this I mean, point. they chant it in the streets at every oh, protest man. in the yeah, world. Totally. Man, man, in the world, yeah. Right? I ain't, yeah think about it's that a it's world. a kid that has said that as a poem at a church somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and all I'm saying is, what are we gonna say now? What are we gonna say now, Remo? <laughs> we gonna be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, me. Thought I was going. All my life, I had, I had to nigga. fight. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> nigga. No, he said it loud to stick to his artist shit. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> they like, he in it. Ooh, he he in it. it. He let him feel it. Let him go. Oh. Let, oh. let him use him. Let him use him. <laughs> <laughs> nigga. <laughs> you gotta commit to that you shit. You gotta be indignant now. Right, right, right. You remember right. like your homeboy would do a poem with the word damn in it in like middle school right. and the teacher would oh, let it ride man. and be on some artist shit. Right. Yeah, I got the cuss. All I got the damn cuss in the time. <laughs> Big I got the cuss in the school play in fourth grade. That shit was amazing. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, what you say, say all those answers? Yeah. You remember? I know you I don't remember the line, no. Oh, you know he said he got his damn I got my damn on. Damn That's the play that went on tour, though. Yeah. Oh, you gotta be with said yeah. like seven times. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like eight different elementary schools around yeah, the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight, 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 <laughs> bro, everywhere y'all. I go, bro, any room we go in around the country, somebody know him, him, or one of us. Like, I know y'all just like that. Like, mm, nah. nigga, oh God, fuck that shit. You, you don't go outside though. You one of them. You be to yourself chilling. Yeah, I'm only child. Right. Come on, only child. How was how, how it getting back into DJing then? Like, because do people know that you're KP? <laughs> like, fuck you, KP. Like, they say, hey, nigga, set up over there. Like, <laughs> I like that shit so much, man. That shit's so, so real. It's, 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 <laughs> it's, hey, but it's, does it make you feel, does it norma, norma size? Is normalize? It normalize? Normalize? Ah, oh, damn it, man. Why y'all correct? Why y'all so, correct? Yeah, really? 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 But let that, we were supposed no, to I ask felt what it. he said. <laughs> I felt it. I felt <laughs> it come out <laughs> wrong, Let him run it back. I, I laughed. That's all, I had. <laughs> all I had was a laugh. I didn't say yes or no. Well, that shit, I didn't give it up. Well, I gave it up because I laughed. That shit gave. That shit came out cursing. Because <laughs> he looked. Because he looked at me. He didn't look at y'all. You know how you read cursing? Like, what came out? Like, no, you take that part out your mouth. And he said, he said, normal size. Is that it? <laughs> that is. He looked right at me. I couldn't. I couldn't hold it. I was looking for approval. You like you was the script to bust the line. Come on. Right. Normalize, boom. Normalize. Does that normalize things for you? Like people being, you know, treating you like a, Regular like you ain't human. shit. <laughs> no, like, I mean, I'm, I made happy. Like, Shut I'm, up, I'm, like the thing is, I'm normal. I'm me all the time. So it's not really. Yeah, I feel you. Like, but it's like, it's in that space. It, I like the, first of all, it's like, I got to prove myself in it. Like, mm -hmm. it, like that was the part I liked the most. It was like, all right, let me take these, these, these punches and mm -hmm. figure out what I'm doing right and wrong. Cause I just like, yeah, I like learning shit. Mm -hmm. So and and to be a DJ in the '90s is one thing, right? Like you know, it's just like just different. But right. then to start over now, it's like relearning music that works where and like it's a lot of real technical shit. The same way if y'all y'all touring comics are different than a comic who's at the five five nine. Facts. For sure. Like you gotta have references that 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 are beyond you. Facts. So it, it requires you to do the work and learn some shit. Figure out well what these niggas on like. When you go to, when you find out in Detroit what they say, yep. you know what I'm saying? It's like, you just, you got to know that shit. Mm -hmm. That was my favorite shit, bro. I remember going to Detroit, because Joe, who on Uptown down here, used to, who whatever you got good in Uptown, they would sing into Detroit, and they would be oh, like, cool. and I got, I got headlined, I started headlining early because I was young enough to fly X-Fairs. It was like, 
fifty dollars standby. And they're like, yo, Ronnie, go to Detroit. Circumstance. This nigga <laughs> you were star by Wednesday. circumstance. But <laughs> what happened was I had to prove, my, I had to prove myself because yeah. I went nah, up yes, there and yeah. I, they had me headlining, but Foolish came to the gas mm. spot, a goddamn downtown Tony Brown. Mm. All these niggas destroyed. I got to go behind this shit like, fuck. But yeah, it sound good to headline. Yeah, it right. sound good. Like, I was like, nigga, I'm, huh? you, so bruh. you finna go do 20? Yeah. <laughs> and they <laughs> from here. That's yeah. the crazy And they part. know all. They know all the shit. Like, that's the thing about... I, that's what I was saying. Like, you can get burnt by one of them niggas from that city. Mm. You can get yeah. burnt. I got burnt in Sandersville, Georgia, by a dude that was just trying comedy one time. He was, <laughs> <laughs> he was trying. Because no, it, was, it was his whole family. In there. It was his right. whole family. And he was doing, like you said, he was doing local jokes so local. They were like, he's talking about some, you know, like, uh, you know, like Vernon and the Sis at McDonald's. Some baby cub. <laughs> That's all he said. They was dying. <laughs> Running around, burning at McDonald's. Burning the sister no at McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> you know, like burning the sister at McDonald's for making cookies. Hey, nigga, that's funny. Anyway, <laughs> <I'm saying. laughs> so I was over there. That was like, local. How the fuck is this working? He built like like like, like a lima like, bean. It was like in a fucking cafeteria or some shit, dog. <laughs> Burning the sissy from McDonald's got to be a sketch. This nigga drop all your shit in the bag one but at a time. I will always do them shows coming off of like a fry. Salt. <laughs> nigga, why you put my drink in my bag? <laughs> you come off of doing like opening for Monique and then got there, you got to go to Sandersville real yeah, quick and got there. Uh-huh. You but no, what I'm saying, he would, have to go before, he would go before me and destroy it. And my first five would be struggling. Them niggas be like, mm. Mm. You don't know burning, huh? You, you don't right. know burning, you really don't know, know, know burning. Give us some burning. But, uh, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's why I got that joke from, like, when, if you night. say <laughs> too big a word, that nigga keep saying big ass words and shit, like amazing no. and shit. I'm like, damn, Ooh, bro, I'm sorry. Amazing. It was a nigga mad. Why like, you keep saying <laughs> them big ass goddamn white yeah. words? White like, words. That's what I say, amazing. <laughs> white <laughs> words. <laughs> white <laughs> words. That's a good episode, nigga. Yeah, white, white words, white words. <laughs> but yeah, man, thank you for goddamn uh, making Atlanta like you. You made y'all made it dope to be from here. Just to just as a kid, like going out of town and shit, or just you know, like even traveling. Like when I first started traveling, niggas was like you from Atlanta? Yeah, nigga, what's up? Like <laughs> no cap. No, yeah, yeah. it wasn't even that energy. It was like I don't give a fuck what y'all doing yeah. <laughs> at all. I don't give a fuck what y'all doing because yeah. I'm doing something right now. You know what I'm saying? That just is the. The sentiment to how many niggas was doing dope shit at the same time, yeah, like, right. but with the 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 intention of of quitting each other on. Mm. Well, that's Man, how we yeah, came together. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, being in LA <laughs> yeah. and seeing Outkast and Goody Mob and shit, the, what I would think of the South for that or around that time would be, you know, Master P and Dollar Park. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, where, where are you from exactly? Up. I'm from Inglewood. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, they'd be turned up or whatever, but I saw Outkast and I was like, oh, them motherfuckers like. Snoop a little bit from mm-hmm. over there. They laid back. They ain't really tripping. They do drugs, smoking they drink. Big. You know Smoke what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what like these other motherfuckers, ah, 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 they ain't show no dope, no dope. Like what the fuck y'all on? That's the ice cream in it. Yeah, right. y'all niggas own the crack. Y'all talking about selling? <laughs> Mr. Ice Cream Man, goddamn, calm down. So that, I, I connected with that immediately. So I was like, so my impression of Atlanta people before I got here was the motherfuckers just cool. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know everybody here, you from California, blah, 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 y'all laid back, motherfuckers. I feel the same way, same way about Atlanta. Even when the crunk shit came, motherfuckers still were throwing the elbow. Yeah, but still light, cool like even a groove. Yeah. It was like yeah, yeah you might get hurt, but you might have shoulder time. blades. You know what but it's <laughs> always jamming though. Always yeah. jamming. It's, it's always, always Listen, man, jamming. That's, that, that's the only. That's the point. Like it's the same way. Like your your point got to be it's got to be funny. Mm-hmm. Like the shit got to be jamming. Got to jam. Like, Cause otherwise you can lie, you can you can you can play it for your mama. She can tell you anything. Mm-hmm. But like the reaction, it's like the same shit you were saying earlier about G. It's like you can't fight the the reaction. The the the, the body language is gonna happen right. if it's right. right. Yeah. And if it ain't, you gonna see that too. Right. Like when you have someone hit them with the, hey man, what you think? <laughs> <laughs> like nigga, did you just breathe? Nigga <laughs> <laughs> pulled the plane up a little bit. Over. Right. <laughs> You need, you need that though. Take that. Take that. Not as a, a yeah, disrespect, man. Take that as all right. Okay. Go back. That's somebody that I need to win over. Yeah, if that's you it. play a record for somebody in front of them, mm-hmm. like and y'all in the same room, so you have pressure. to ask them how they felt about it. Yeah. Don't even ask. That's real. Too. Yeah, it's like because you should. Especially if they fuck with you, my nigga gonna be like, like, gonna be like, oh, yeah, you know like, what I'm like if you got to add, like I can see if you sent somebody a file and yeah. they just got busy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, by the way, them. like that's that. Like I feel bad for that because it's like because of 
email, motherfuckers can send you shit all the time, right? Right. And because of text, they can send you more shit. And then they can send it through <laughs> WhatsApp. And then they can send some shit <laughs> yeah. through the Twitter. Yeah. And then it's tag like, you and it's like, on social media. It, and it ain't that I'm not not listening to you. Like I'm going to other places to not listen to you. I just I'm doing some other shit. And I, like, damn, even if you popped up, it's like, and I wasn't here for that at that moment, right? Right. But the problem is you don't. You, it's more shit coming in, and you can re- reply to sometimes. That's what I be telling my bitches. Like, look, how <laughs> 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 so much coming in? Oh, shit, <laughs> go, how the fuck? Yeah, like, shit, you want to deal with everyone? God, damn, my thumbs. What, what about my thumbs? <laughs> what was the last thing you listened to in the car today? <laughs> Say that again. What's the last thing you listened to today in the car? Mm. What did I just get out of the car? Uh, I gotta look at my phone, man. I'll be listening. That's, that's a new segment. What was what you would listen oh, to right. today? Let's all do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, everybody put it what you would listen to. Kodak Black. Pull up. Pull up. <laughs> got down. Pimping cool, ain't man. easy. Two. <laughs> One more time, K Camp and Jeremiah. Okay. <laughs> how did you get to that? Shout out to Jeremiah. Man. See, I see out who I had with you just me. Open up what you had. Yeah. Open your title, <laughs> Apple Music, whatever you was playing. I was playing. I was playing that Scotty too. How did you? Nah. The QC compilation oh, album. Oh, it was the Jeezy album. Ah, yeah. Uh-huh. So you know, I just right. put in the that verses, bro. That get verse bring you up. back, bro. Hey, that, was, that was genius to drop an album. Yeah, I was listening to Jeezy. That's why y'all played. Oh yeah, new album hard too. I fuck with. Yeah, I ain't heard shit. The video hard, like is it? Him and Ross? Yes. Fashion. And like the sneak everyone. diss is harder. What's the sneak diss? It's man, always like, one. Fuck Gucci, fuck the thing is, yeah, it, man. Look, man, Such we having a, a great day man. in the A. <laughs> Such great a day in the A. This ain't coming out. Like, he didn't know that was going to go that good. Nah, we made that he song. tripped that nigga out leaving the front door. He was like, we about to go to the club, nigga. <laughs> got you. Because <guys. laughs> you, you, we have outside. this platform, and I do want to get your thoughts on what <laughs> what that moment meant to Atlanta. Right? Like, right then, the world was stopped. We stopped and looked at these grown men, be, be grown men. Mm-hmm. Like, what did that mean? Because we knew how real it was. Yeah, it was and real, real it is. It's still yeah. like, you know, like, to me, it's just the, the, the testament of, like, if you live, you can figure this shit out. Mm. Like that's the whole point. Like, mm. like, like that's the goal. Like, let's 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 Keep live living, long, long enough to get over that dumb shit. Cause oh, shit. start the show with that. Please. <laughs> yeah, I'll be it for real. Yeah. But that, you know, shit. Like, so to me, I'm like that shit stopped everything for me. Like it was, like I was proud. Like I was proud. I was proud of Tip. Like I was proud of Tip for understanding mm. how important that was and to let to be. Yeah, you know, let that happen. Like yeah. don't. Like that ain't no like, and not that anybody had to have that conversation, but he knew that, right? Mm-hmm. right. To like, they want to see this. I want to see this. Mm-hmm. Like, as, you know. So yeah. the 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 grown man shit was like 360 in that whole situation. Like it was it I was a lot. Pours over the city. I hope grown man this washes <laughs> over everybody. Cause that, 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 and we all get some real estate. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you said I can't say that. Out yes, loud. That, like, that, in my wild. head. Yeah, I it was hope weird. Grown man washes over my body. <laughs> <laughs> over not over me, nigga. Over the city. Like, but over Atlanta. It's already doing it. That's not like Brand New Day. <laughs> That's not like Brand New Day. Ah, that. that was gross as hell, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Watch <Yep. laughs> That's the hell of a weather report. Yeah. It's, 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 it's grown, man. It's dripping grown, man. What? I'm on my Delta app. Like, wait a minute. Get the fuck on, man. It's grown man juice coming out of the sky, guys. I don't know what's happening. It's ah. grown men washing They're landing on the bulldog. Oh, shit. Oh, Larry, is you stupid as hell, boy. <laughs> Nigga, you dumb. Oh, man. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, I, but I, can I give? We gotta give credit to. I know this has been a conversation. Everybody wants to see Jeezy and Gucci versus versus. But uh, oh, yeah. Moneybag Mafia put out that video. Oh yeah. People, remember they the first day they announced Ti and Jeezy, mm-hmm. and Moneybag Mafia uh, Instagram homeboy comedian he going to with DC Young Fly. He was like, "Fuck all that, bro. The whole city want to see goddamn T, uh, Gucci and Jeezy. Fuck that. We love both of y'all. We want to see Gucci yeah. and Jeezy, and that video went crazy. Ti posted it. Yeah, and it was like, like you said, like let the let the room set the fight. Like you yeah. And, yeah, and by the way, this yeah, this ain't got nothing to do with. Like it's almost like Tip and Jeezy were doing it out of why not type shit. Like okay, fuck it. Like you know, like Buster don't make sense with Tip. Fifty don't want to do it. Jeezy would like to do Gucci. He don't want to do it. Yeah, let's just do it. But I then. Mean. Does Tip give an olive branch as well? Like Gucci said, I don't know where the fuck he got that from. And then you know, he said yeah. you extended the olive, olive branch. branch. I said, nigga, who told him to say that? Yeah, that was, that was, that was straight down. down. He was like, saying, he, he, you extended it, my olive branch. He was going to end it with that. That was his last line. That's how he was going that's out what, no matter what. That's what his lawyer I said. That, I don't think that. I, I, I feel like he was like, I think after the, the like, Jeezy got his shit off, it was like. Yeah, I got to I gotta say something. Yeah. Fuck, say something peaceful. I love friends. I cut the music. 
<laughs> you know you lose though when you roast it when you start mentioning like if you like if a comedian is roasting somebody <laughs> then he mentioned money he lost right oh, yeah. so oh, then he like look at my outfit I got ten thousand dollars worth yeah. of goddamn I'm like, like nigga you're down ten you're two down, that's what that means that ten thousand dollar outfit is that down said, ten to two look at my opponent <laughs> <laughs> he was waiting on the crowd to go yeah but nobody okay, said nothing. That. all right let's go back over to the show okay my question really I'm sorry real quick my question really was uh now I. I know they were talking in the comments. I was watching on Apple Music, so I didn't get to see it. But does Tip extend the Olive Branch to Gucci or vice versa? For what? I mean, what do you mean? Oh, I thought they—they they don't have beef. Oh shit! Okay. Like they don't have what? It was a little something. He was just no. Gucci was just everybody at one point. He was going yeah. Tip was Jeezy friend. Yeah. So, so fuck out. all y'all over there. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. he know. Like it ain't never. I don't. It's never been a thing. It's just you know. It's the the idea that that's your partner and. Right. And, okay. tip, it, and it is his partner. Yeah. yeah. Street shit. I okay, got so gotcha. we got T.I. and Lil Wayne coming up. Who, what, I know, mm. you know what I'm saying? This is, is that your, real? Is that is real? It? I saw that. I saw it posted saw it. and then it disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see Swiss Beast post it. Yeah. yeah. Swiss okay. don't post it. I don't yeah, I can't really bring it. it. But I did see it. I saw it a lot, though. Yeah. I saw the idea of it. I mean, which I get, but I I still think it's different. Like, ironically, I don't know. Other than 50, I don't know. 50. Because that's just fun to watch. I like see T.I. and Snoop. That just would have been fun. Okay, so. Well, no, mm-hmm. but it's okay. Like, okay, it's like, I'll say what's funny? Jay. I don't want to see Tip and Buster, but I would like Wayne and Buster because they both got a bunch of features and they, yeah. you know, they got a bunch of other songs and, yeah. but, uh, but it still doesn't That's match. Tough. Nah, but yeah, I don't see Buster and Twister because Ti is like so an niggas alien. Don't understand He's like shit the whole night. Da 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 da. Yeah, I, I don't know who Tip can. Yeah, I don't he, know. He by himself. Because yeah. the problem is, he got actual hit records. He has both. Hit. Him and Ross would have Yeah, I, just, I was just about to say, him and Ross, Ross made, would have made more again, sense. He, didn't, he had a bunch of shit. He, he didn't crack into the shit, though. He do but that. he don't want to go against T.I. He don't want to go against T.I. with, with, with a fresh 20. Yeah. With no, the leftovers. No, with the leftovers. You can't. I don't know, bro. You know how many memes of that dance shit going to come up if T.I. go out to this nigga with his leftover 20? T.I. versus Ludo. I can't call it. Yeah, that one. Can you do T.I. versus Ludacris? They already did Luda and I mean, Nelly. they did Luda and Nelly, but they, they reception was fucked up. <laughs> I mean, you know, that, they ain't really happen. That yeah. shit ain't happen. It ain't happen. If a tree falls, the forest is bad. Why? Yeah, yeah, no, we talk about. Hey man, it's storming really out here. But the <laughs> thing is, we going with spice. They had some friction spice, light skin drama, and we both we like both of them at the same time. So, I'm gonna go with Common. Okay, I'm gonna go with Common. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna go with Eh, I don't want to see that Shut shit. Up. I want to see. I want to see. There's got to be somebody, The fucked up part is I forgot the camera here, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I just want Tyler to win. Like, what? He called you comment. He was yeah. getting his comment. Uh, That's right. Yeah, let me go, man. Right. Go ahead. Thank you, KP. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the tip can't go with nobody because everybody don't win. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's the answer. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> we like to end up. Jay-Z would be fun. I said Jay. Yeah, He's not going against anybody. Nobody's supposed to go against Jay-Z, though. It's like, we I like, mean, what's up, Tip and Drake? Uh, Drake different. Bro. No, Drake is tough. No, Drake is Drake, 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 Drake and Wayne Drake make more sense. Mm. That would be I crazy. Mean, I think Drake, they, they Drake and Jay make more sense. Actually. Drake and Jay, yeah, Drake Drake and Jay, Jay, Jay make, make, make a lot of sense. sense. Drake and Jay. That's a century. That's that one. Yeah. Nobody wants Beyonce. T.I. and Kanye. I could enjoy that. I would enjoy the fucking that. T.I. and Kanye. And they already had they talks about. Red and blue yeah, state talk. Political. But but what okay, but then do you limit Kanye from like, he play his production? Uh, man, if Juju can say, dig your partner up three times, <laughs> 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 look at him, dig your partner up. Oh, right in front of him. Dig your partner up. Like, nigga, we know. We know. We know the song. We heard it. Boy. <laughs> hey, man. If he can do that, you can't restrict hey, nobody you know in the world. Listen, again, can, can we just make sure Jeezy get all the love Come on, man. and, and, sure. and appreciation that, no that only counseling can give you? Like, it's like Next. that nigga was at the most grown zen. Man like, he was. <laughs> <laughs> grown man washing. Grown man washing. Grown, grown man <laughs> That's what happens when you're man man washing. Just to make sure you calm. Just yeah, to make just sure. Come here. You, you got to entertain. 
That's yeah. Barrett shit. Come here. You know he gonna try. It. I, don't. I, I know these big bitches gonna see. Yeah, but up. shout out to Jeezy, man. Like, I, <laughs> yeah. like, he, like you saying before. And and, and and Gucci for receiving. Yeah, for yeah. Gucci right. for receiving. For sure. Yeah. I would love a hood to nigga don't receive. My nah, because you you could you could see it was a moment during 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 Jeezy's speech where he turned old Gucci off. He did. Yeah. He like, did. He, like, he, he saw it. It was like, he did. Yeah, he, he like, did. <laughs> he recalibrated. Yeah. yeah. He was, Cause he had put the mic up a little bit and he was like, you know what? Yeah, it was just like, all right. Let me right. get this nigga this black. <laughs> he was like, black lives matter. That's when he came, that was the moment he came up with Olive Branch. Right. Yeah. I think he was like, <laughs> man, did this nigga just throw a branch? <laughs> Throwing shit. Oh, that's an Olive Branch. Oh, my bad. All right. I accept it. Oh, <laughs> oh. You want olive bread? Y'all! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he should have ate dairy and got congested before the uh, fight. That's oh, what I think. <laughs> <laughs> Happen to have one olive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga had on Dilla Wafer. Bruh, <laughs> I think the hardest one was that nigga like a pe- pepperidge farm cookie. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then windmill. Ooh, oh, nice man. windmill cooking. Bro. You know that Gucci uh, coat funny. is in the case right that now. Nigga dressed like a transporter. That shit gonna be in the trap museum. <laughs> that nigga dressed like Debbie <laughs> Allen, nigga. In the, in the, in the Debbie <laughs> Allen. That's how Debbie <laughs> Allen dressed <laughs> with the stick. Her police were shot. Go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> they be in them long ass <laughs> shit. <laughs> like that old AKA. <laughs> with that old AKA that went to Spelman. Got on the show. <laughs> <laughs> when they come, when she came back to the probate to see what they came across, oh, nigga. That's right. Ooh, that's hilarious, bro. <laughs> Secret, oh, man. Just like Maxine Waters. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. K- I know you don't do shit like this, so we yeah, definitely man. Well, man. this is fun. Like, this is, like, this is Thanks, fun. Thanks, man. Real. That's what's happening. See, he fun, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah pull up. Shit. Y'all like, I ain't, you know, especially the black ones. All the black podcasts. Yeah, Salute yeah, to so y'all. So, get on vision. You do a TV now, though, right? Yeah, we do a bunch of shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, doing film, so, um, music supervision. Trying to get some more of the cultural yeah. partnership going, buddy. That's what's up. You sleeves up on them nigga, right? Yeah, I saw you. I saw my executive general. Executive general. Yeah, Canadian tucks, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> like, cause that watch ain't came down yet. Yeah, so, <laughs> sorry, man. Hey, That's the executive watch. It was like 89. Right. I had to get it. I had to get it, man. <laughs> got my hey, son one. It was at Target. Fuck that shit. <laughs> 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 had to get it. Dad swag. What they talking about? Get it. Oh, shit. Anyway, man, sorry. So, anyway. Yeah. Anyways. No, dude. Yeah. You know, a bunch of shit, man. Like, TV, um, executive producing a documentary on um, Ian Burke here in Atlanta, who. Well, he's going to. I'm speaking to Ian Burke now. Sorry. Go okay. So Fuck. let's hold it to the we finish. Yeah, got it. And I mean the documentary, so I can have something to talk about. Um, but yeah, just trying to again, just put them as much light on people that do dope shit as possible. Facts. So you need been doing that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's my mission. Keeping it going. You know what that was up. That's my blues brother's mission. All right, blues man. So we like to end every episode with a segment we call Secret Genius Life Coach. Well, get the people some words of wisdom. <laughs> get through the week. Get to the next episode. I am yes, Kamal sir. Secret Genius. It's a white person. And the words of the week are this. Oh, he's oh y'all thought it was black on. <laughs> oh, no, it is. <laughs> white boy engineer sometimes. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> cut, do like both. cut the cameras off. <laughs> Let me tell you something. He and that bitch going crazy. Okay, what? You need me to what? <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> Turn up the rah, rah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, come on. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Uh-huh. What did I, I said the shit already? No, you intro. No. <laughs> <laughs> <Do we? laughs> The, uh, we like to end the episode with a segment we call Secret Genius Life Coach. I thought I said this part. Um, I am Kamal the Secret Genius, and the words of the week are this. Whenever somebody leads with, this is just my opinion, but it's 83% chance they about to say some bullshit. <laughs> 83. 83. Mm, pretty they probably don't know what the fuck they're talking about because they're leading with this is not a fact. This is just some shit I think. Mm. So That's to the people that when you say that, when that come out your mouth, take like two seconds and change your mind and don't say what you was about to say. That's awesome. Mm. 
Like, and that's all I like got. Just say it, my nigga. <laughs> just just say it. Say it. Look, bro, Let all due respect. <laughs> we gonna bury the nigga who you bring back and put him in a box and send him back to you the way. You, okay. Send another one. Send another one. <laughs> I'm gonna send him in a box mercy, like your bro. own boy. Gucci's a video game. Boy. Send another. But, <laughs> he told himself in jail. If I ever see that nigga, I'm gonna say all this. Yes. That nigga didn't. Yeah, nah, Gucci ain't, ain't talking about that for four years for tonight. Like, for yo, that if night. I could ever rap this shit to this nigga, if Ooh. I can't kill him, yeah. I could rap this shit. I'm gonna rap so hard to him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, push up shit. <laughs> if I ever see this nigga, uh, that nigga verbally. I'm going to put on peanut butter. Boy. <laughs> peanut, peanut I'm going to be like, butter. where you from, I'm nigga? Gonna put on peanut butter. <laughs> I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like, I'm, I live six minutes that way, goddamn. Where you from? That nigga Jesus was like, yeah. Mm. They might as well stop the verses, though, keep it a buck, because you ain't going to get better. That was, the, that was the finale. That was Atlanta's the different. They gonna have to do fifty and Jaru. They got to. Yeah, That's the only. Yeah, see, now yeah, 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 Tiff ain't got nobody. Yeah, just <laughs> <Tiff ain't got laughs> nobody. <laughs> had to like be at one. Yeah, just like, can I play? Yeah, hey, let me play. Uh, let's so, play so look, yeah. whatever yeah. you like. Play that's the song I got with you. So niggas don't fuck with Lil Flip no more. Man, all right, all right, bro. more than all culture right. is the brand. Yeah, this is the podcast. Come on, the secret genius. Independent artist to get the bag. We we appreciate that. What yeah. kind of nigga in a lucky charm suit? <laughs> Goddamn, <laughs> remember that <laughs> tilt, nigga? <laughs> more than culture is the brand. <laughs> this Bird is Bird the podcast. Come on, the secret genius. <laughs> Remo Rod, Tyler Chronicles, Ronnie Jordan, <laughs> special guest Kawan Prather. Yeah, I guess. We out. <laughs>